Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Yes, I know your stock of modified Metagel is low, but... No, you don't understand. This is... <coughs> Commander Shepard, when I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me, Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side, and I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Welcome to Serta. Be safe. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. If you're long enough to get the hand. ...and has offered extensive medical and technical support. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you. No more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Udina? I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here. I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it... Yeah, 
I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. When you're back on your feet, we'll talk some more. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. So what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at Gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reaper's Ash. You did the best you could. And survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, ma'am. Roger that, Elsie. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you. Even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're both professionals. We have more important things to worry about. You're right. I'm just restless, laying here, doing nothing. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in, and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. There's a war on. People are counting on us. I get it. But it's still hard to put it all aside. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. Will do, Commander. needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, and it's good advice. Let's sign up as Med-10 volunteers. How's that sound? Welcome to Kanala Exports. Charging for goods, denying refugees basic services, 
It seems cultivating serenity is possible even during times of crisis. The book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts. In At Canala Exports, we believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. Plenix was lost in our home world, and now our people We appreciate have lost your visit. Selling now would be unwise. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. And then Elkos I Combine. Traveling if it exists, safer. we carry it. Thank you. Come again. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Things work great even if you're redeployed. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Casa Weaponry. Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Welcome Neither to the you. Citadel gift shop. Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. All licensed huntresses may apply for a professional discount. Shoot smart. Shoot. Thank you for Nosostra. shopping at Nosostra Sporting Goods. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. <laughs> no, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity, but you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news! The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. Sometimes I think this whole Citadel is a mistake. What do you mean? Well, it's out here in the middle of nowhere. Defensible, safe... Remember how everyone ignored the Geth threat until Saren's attack? Well, let's hope they listen this time. I don't know if we'll be able to save their asses again. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah. She's earned a little shore leave.
I'm afraid I can't help you. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe... Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Please obey all local government restrictions when purchasing protective equipment. Thank you for shopping at Agor. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Professional grade equipment at reasonable prices. That's we appreciate your visit. to military gear will lose millions. I've seen Pelavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares of Walk Climb, but I'm not going financial BI for that. Primal Victus has requested a war summit to the Council of Mason. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Izo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. He used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. Hello, Shepard.
Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. 